We are going to take a look at Ryan's swing. Uh, we have two uh, swings up here. The one on the left is the first swing. Uh, we've identified uh, where he begins and where he uh, drifts to uh, with uh, the red and the yellow line. And then we did the same thing once we made a couple of corrections uh, on the right-hand swing. We have sequenced these swings together. We've come down to contact where contact is, which is about right there. And then we are able to go forward and backwards into his swing. As you can see on the swing on the left, there's a pronounced drift forward. As Ryan goes down, his foot's getting down in good, good shape. But then there's a long hip drift with the head traveling. And if you look at the coverage on the plate, head begins at the back of the plate on the point of the plate. And then drifts uh, almost to the front edge, uh, right up a few inches from the front edge. Then that tends to produce a reach, where you're reaching for the ball. Plus, you're off balance. The weight is now on your front uh, heel, and it's out of your swing, and you've got none, none of your hips into your swing. Here we have the second version. And as we come down, we'll notice that the foot goes out this time. Or really just picks it up and puts it down. But the amount of drift is limited. And now the center line at contact is right at the back of the plate contact driving through and as you can watch both swings side by side especially at the finish you see much more stability on the right side than the left